Hey guys, so today is going to be another favorites video. It's going to be my April favorites video. These are all things that I have used a lot in April, but also some of these things are my holy grail items. So I'm very excited about them. And there's gonna be some beauty products and some lifestyle products and just some random things thrown in here. So hopefully you guys will like this and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the beauty products and we are gonna start with my favorite thing right now. And I have to be honest with you guys, I just got this a couple of days ago, but honestly, it is so incredibly gorgeous. I can't stop looking at it and I know that this is gonna be a favorite product for a long time to come because of the way that it looks and also the product. But this is the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass Palette. I don't know if you guys can see just how beautiful this is but this is the outside packaging and then you lift this front cover open and there's a mirror in here and then this little part right here says i'm not strange weird off nor crazy my reality is just different from yours and i think that's just so awesome i even love the font there and it just looks awesome and then the coolest part is that you open it up and it has this little butterfly it's unbelievable i just love it i just love the way that it looks i think it's so beautiful and honestly even though yeah it has the shadows it's such like an art piece for me as well so i love it and then to get to the shadows you pull this little part open right here and there are 20 beautiful beautiful shadows i mean there are so many looks that you can do with this maybe i'll do a makeup tutorial on it or something because you know there's all the browns and the neutrals but then there's tons of different pops of color in here so you know this is my kind of palette so this i think was 60 dollars, but i'm going to tell you guys something for urban decay shadows when you get 20 shadows that's only three dollars a shadow plus you get this beautiful packaging and i just for me, it's totally worth it. I think I'm gonna buy one either for my mom or my sister too because this is totally them. Like this is the kind of stuff that we just love. Okay, so the next thing I've shown you guys in a haul video before, and this is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I just got this at the beginning of April, I believe. And I have to tell you guys, I've been using it all the time. It's what's on my eyes today. You, you can see I've kind of dived into it here. <laughs> but I just love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The smell is just like, it's such a cool touch that it smells like chocolate. And I think Too Faced is awesome. So I really, really highly recommend this palette. I feel like it could be an everyday palette, but there's also options to do something a little bit more bold and crazy. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a good everyday palette. Okay, the next thing is a little bit expensive, but I have to tell you it's it's worth the money for me because it really works well on my skin But this is the benefit pore professional primer and I always put this on before I put on my foundation It goes really well with the naked skin foundation that I use pretty much daily and I just really like this stuff This is the bigger container of it. I think they have a smaller size as well but you can get this at Ulta or, or Sephora and it just it really makes my skin have a nice finish and a nice glow when I put my foundation on. So this is totally worth it for me. I think you could probably get a sample of it at Sephora or something if you ask, if you want to try it out beforehand. But I really, really like this. And I have yet to find anything that's like drugstore or lower end that matches this. But I will keep trying. Okay, the next thing is totally random, but I have just been absolutely loving this because I don't know if you can tell, don't even look at my nails right now because they're not looking great, but I did take off my gel overlay that I almost always have on my nails. I have like the overlay and then I have a no chip color on almost always, but it was starting to chip a little bit even though it was no chip, so I just decided to take them off for a little while and just start painting my nails for myself for just a couple of weeks. So I've been having to take my nail polish on and off because it never, regular nail polish never lasts on me. So I decided to start using this. This is a Sephora Instant Nail Polish Remover for glitter, but it also works for all different polishes. And I'm telling you guys, this works so much better than any other remover I've ever used. I All you have to do is just stick your hand in there. There's kind of a more like coarse side and then a little softer side. You stick your finger in there and it comes off immediately. So this works really, really well. And like I said, it's the Sephora brand. So I think you can only get it at Sephora. It's in the red container. I think they have other ones as well. But I just really like this one for the glitter because I do wear glitter polish a lot. And it works so well for glitter. There's no, you know, if you've ever worn glitter polish before, you know how hard it is to take it off. So this is awesome. Totally worth the money. It's lasted me a while now and I highly recommend it. Okay, the next thing is something that I honestly didn't know much about 
but I saw it at Target a couple of weeks ago and I've been using it every day. I absolutely love this. This is the Super Sizer Mascara by CoverGirl. I'm not sure if you can see the packaging very well, but it is so good. The wand is like something I've never seen before and it is just, it's just awesome. It works really well on my lashes. I have, you know, pretty long lashes and I need a specific kind of wand. This is very different, like I said, from anything I've seen, but it just separates my lashes really well and it makes it look so good for an everyday wear. If I'm not wearing false lashes and I just wanna wear, you know, just a little bit of mascara, this is my go-to right now. And honestly, I'll probably always have this because it's so affordable. This was only $5.99. I got it at Target, it was out right in the front actually. And it said, I think it said something about like Pinterest worthy or something. It was like very popular on Pinterest. So if you're looking for a really, really great affordable mascara, I highly recommend this or the L'Oreal Voluminous Black, I think it's Carbon Black Mascara. But try this out if you haven't yet. For six bucks, you really can't go wrong. Okay, the next thing is one of my Holy Grail products. I've used this for a very long time and I just love it. And it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo for dark hair. This is for, it's actually dark and deep brown. So basically, if you've ever used dry shampoo before, you know that it can cast kind of like a white shadow on your hairline. And with this, because it's for dark hair, it does not do that to me. So it's really, really nice. And I like to use this especially when I straighten my hair because the next day, if I don't wanna wash it or whatever, I put this in there. And actually, I like my second day hair better with this in it than my first day hair. So I highly recommend this. If you have dark hair, totally try this out. You can get it at Target, you can get it at Ulta. I think it's only five or six dollars and it lasts me a really long time even when I use it every day. So highly recommend it. It's a holy grail product of mine. So the next thing is something that I absolutely love. You guys know that I love ColourPop and I've done lip swatch videos from them before and I just think they're a great affordable company even though you can only get it online, you can't get it at like the drugstore or Ulta or anything like that. But I just love their products. I absolutely love them. These are no different. This is a new formula that they have and it is called the Matte X Lippy Stick. And they look like this. I have a couple of them. And I actually have a lip swatch video on this. If it's not up yet, it will be up very soon, but I'll link it down below so you guys can see it. But basically this Matte X is a little bit different than their matte finish. And I think these are an amazing formula. I wore one yesterday and it lasted all day long. And then a lighter color that I wore last week, it lasted all day long. And you know, it's not, it's definitely not like the liquid lipsticks that they have because those seriously, they don't move on me at all. This moved a little bit and I had to do a little bit of touching up, but I love them. So definitely check out the lip swatch video that I did on this so you, so you can see the different color options that there are. I don't have all of them yet, but I do have I think eight or nine of them. So I will definitely swatch those for you guys and hopefully you like them too. Okay, now we're just gonna move on to the lifestyle stuff. That was all my beauty favorites for the month. But the first thing in lifestyle is absolutely this. And if you are my friend on Fitbit, you know that I love my Fitbit Blaze. Uh, this is my first Fitbit ever. And it looks like this, if you guys can see. It kind of looks like an Apple Watch. And it's so beautiful. I don't have it on right now because it looks weird in, in the camera. But this is what it looks like and I love it. I'm all about my Fitbit. I'm all about getting my steps in. If I don't get them in, I'm pacing around. That's just how it is. I really believe this is totally worth the money. I think this was $199, but I use it. It's something that you use all day, every day, even when you're sleeping. It tracks your sleep, it tracks your steps, it tracks your calories burnt. You can connect it to, to my fitness pal, which is what I do. So it takes my, you know, what I enter for my food and then my activity and tells me what my deficit is for the day. It's just totally high tech and it's awesome. There's other Fitbits out there and I think that they're all really great. My sister has a different one than I do. She doesn't have the Blaze, but I just love the Fitbit system. I love the app, I love the challenges that are on there. I think it's just a really great platform for people to connect and be healthy together. So I highly recommend Fitbit if you don't have one and especially the Fitbit Blaze if it is in your budget and if it's something that you think would work for your lifestyle. I, I totally love it. And if you do have Fitbit, then add me on there. I'll leave my email address down below. I think this favorite is gonna be so obvious to you guys because I talk about it all the time, but it's just something that I absolutely love, but it is the Green Giant Fresh Cauliflower Crumbles. I love these things. I use them weekly. I use 
multiple bags weekly we love them if you live a low carb lifestyle if you're vegan if you just want to get more vegetables in this is a simple option to have no excuses that's the way that i feel about it because there's a lot of people that don't want to chop up the cauliflower or put it through the food processor or do whatever you have to do to make cauliflower rice or cauliflower pizza crust or whatever it is that you're making you know it there are kind of a lot of steps to get it chopped like this and to just be able to buy this bag bag and not have to worry about anything is so awesome and this one bag I have found equals one head of cauliflower and honestly for a while there this was cheaper than the head of cauliflower so this bag was $2.99 I got it at Target I know Walmart's nationwide also have them and just know because it is a fresh product it's in the fresh produce section not the frozen produce section I've had a lot of people ask me if you get it in fresh or frozen but with this specific brand it's always fresh it's not frozen at all because it's it's the green giant fresh brand it's not just green giant so any of their products are going to be found in the fresh produce section of whatever grocery store you're at and going along with the cauliflower crumbles i just have to mention this book because i'm super excited about it but i just got this hungry girl clean and hungry book i ordered it because my aunt was telling me how awesome it was she just got it and I've always loved Hungry Girl. I think Lisa Lillian is just awesome. She's good energy. She's a great person. And I have tons of her cookbooks from a long time ago. But I kind of steered away from them because a lot of the things in there were processed. And I really have been trying not to do too much processed food. And so when this came out, I was like, is it actually, you know, is it actually clean? Are they actually clean recipes? And I have to tell you guys, they really are clean recipes. Like she uses garbanzo bean flour. She uses, you know, almond flour. She uses things that you maybe wouldn't think of otherwise because our world is so processed as it is but this is just so awesome and not only that there are pictures on every single recipe so if you want to know what it's gonna look like you can see it right there and for me it's so important because it's so visual but the reason that I feel like this goes totally along with the cauliflower crumbles is because there is a whole chapter that is all about cauliflower recipes and cauliflower rice and there's so many recipes in here for cauliflower that i've never even seen before whether that's on pinterest or anywhere and so you know i'm all about it and i had no idea that was in this book so when i got this i was like no way that was made for me <laughs> so i am so 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 happy about this like i said i just got it on amazon i'm sure you can get it at any bookstore but i will link this down below for you guys so that's it for my favorites this month, you guys. I had kind of a hard time narrowing down what I was gonna show you because there's so many great products out right now. I feel like a lot of companies come out with brand new things in the spring and I just, I don't know, I had kind of a hard time narrowing it down, but I'll have another favorites video next month for sure. I love filming these. I think they're so fun to just talk about things that you love. Hello, you know? Some of you would tag me in pictures of your favorite things on Instagram and Facebook. A couple of you guys made vlogs about your favorite things. I just. I love that. I think it's really cool that we can all share our favorite things and like I said, I have bought so many things from watching favorites videos before. It's kind of a little bit ridiculous, but it's just really cool that we can share that with each other. So yeah, that's it for this. Be on the lookout for some more beauty videos, some more vlogs, and some more other videos coming on my channel very soon. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon.